Now, a space mission which was already shrouded in secrecy in the US has now grown even more mysterious. That's amid rumors about the fate of a classified government satellite. While well, the reusable SpaceX rocket which launched it safely returned to Earth, questions are being raised over what happened to its payload. Well, RT's Ilya Petrenko joins me now live in the studio to discuss this further. Now, Ilya, what do we know so far? Nikki, hello. Well, the intriguing or mysterious thing about this is that ahead of the launch and during it, in the media, there were so many stories about the top secret spy satellite, which belongs to the U.S. government, being launched by Elon Musk's SpaceX company. It was called Zuma, but now, almost two days after the launch, everyone is pretty much in the dark about its fate. Sunday night's launch was live streamed by SpaceX, but only until a certain stage. Ignition, lift off. We have had successful liftoff of Falcon 9 carrying Zuma. Though then, the satellite's deployment into orbit wasn't shown or reported on at all. Now, if the mission is so secretive, isn't it only fair that some stages of the live stream would be censored? Well, on the one hand, it is true, and we know that the usual practice for uh, this kind of limited access to the stream is like that for missions of that secretive nature. But then, neither SpaceX nor the manufacturer of the satellite confirmed that the launch was successful, and this led to the first doubts appearing. Are there any other reasons to think that something possibly may have gone wrong here? Then, two respected news organizations in the U.S., Wall Street Journal and Bloomberg, reported that Zuma may have fallen back to Earth or burned in the planet's atmosphere. And when they get that classified information from anonymous sources within the U.S. government and also the industry, what they did is they requested comment from the Pentagon, from uh, the satellite's manufacturer, and of course from Elon Musk's company as well. And this is what they got. We have nothing to add to the satellite catalog at this time. We cannot comment on classified missions. We do not comment on missions of this nature, but as of right now, reviews of the data indicate Falcon 9 performed nominally. So where do these comments, or rather no comment replies, leave us? Well, let's assume that the mission was at the end of the day success. Does that mean that there is so much secrecy behind this spy satellite that no one is entitled to know about this mission and again why can't we see any updates in that u.s government satellite catalog so there are of course questions what's the actual function on the sat of the satellite why is it so mysterious who is it going to spy on and uh, to what extent is this kind of spying serious on the other hand if it was indeed a failure perhaps that's not going to be a a disaster for the reputation of SpaceX and Elon Musk's enterprise, but definitely it is going to be an image problem and it will affect the way he does business with the U.S. government. We know that uh, his next step for the company is to start uh, sending manned missions into space and uh, questions will be asked about that when things like that are basically happening months before the first instances of uh, such launches are to be seen in the U.S. Mm. And indeed, the longer it's left with no official comment, the more intrigue and mystery um, there is. So, Ilya Petrenko, thanks for coming in.